Hello everybody and welcome to Dot to Dot. Hey, today I'm going to show you some new exciting information that comes from the 1937 survey. And it's going to answer a long, long question that Olivier and at Oak Island Research and I have had. And that's the circle that is on the Rochefoucauld map. And basically this is going to wrap up the 1937 survey and give us a really tight and local solution in finding the oak entrance or what uh, commonly called the money pit. So let's get into it and we're going to do look into this. Now before I start I want you to understand that this 1937 survey which is uh, basically a rewrite from a man named uh, George Cook, who was actually at the survey and helped the survey uh, by Charles Roper. And just to let you know that this is exactly 180 degrees, this line coming down. So this uh, is oriented to true north and south. And also, it is scaled, and I do it on this one because this is the most accurate. It is scaled to 20 feet, so that is right on. And also, let me see if I can, it is registered, and let me see, I probably don't have it, I always do it to the earlier one because they've actually, this location is actually moved. So we'll go to the 4, 2011. And you can see here's the large boulder right here is the register point. Now Google Earth is not exact, but this is where we have it and it's very, very close. So this is the large boulder and that is the register point. So this map is very, very closely registered to the landscape. Now, the thing that I'm gonna get into is this geometry right here. And I'll show you the landmark map. And this is, you know, part of the Rochefoucauld map. It's the left-hand portion of the Rochefoucauld map. You'll probably recognize it here. And we've always been interested in why this circle here. And this is says on the map, it says the oak enter here. And it has a circle and an arrow enter here. Now, Olivier and I both agree that the enter here, it regards to the La Hamp which is up here, La Hamp. And uh, that is, you know, put, if you see the, uh, the line lines up with La Hamp. Also, it's on a tangent of this circle and is on a tangent of this circle. Now, we, I, I at one time thought that the five, two, 22 entrance was the oak entrance, but uh, that all changed when we started getting into the Rochefoucauld map. And this is verified through these stones. There's two drilled stones. This is one that is on the uh, 1937 survey. And this drill stone is called out by Robert Restall. This is the gray drilled stone, and this is the white drilled stone. We also have another drilled stone over here. Then, of course, we have the triangle, the stone triangle, which is here. But uh, Olivier and I always thought, uh, were wondering why this is circled and what the significance of it was. We are also wondering why it's an ellipse and Obviously, it's because of this angle. So let's take that off here now. And we'll go.
go into the I've actually uh, organized my information. It's still pretty long. But uh, this is the 1937 survey. And we have a location that is being pointed out right here. And this is the 522 entrance. The 522 entrance also is uh, 522 feet from, or 22 pied from Lahamp. And let's see. That's the, uh, and it's also on the 45 degree from cone A to the triangle of Peter. And that was the other thing is the triangle of Peter, we did not have very many, uh, very much uh, information on its location. Uh, the 45 was basically one, uh, obviously the aspect that was giving uh, the location to the Triangle of Peter. And also there was another one, but it was a far distance away, which was the, um, the from Triangle 2, it was a 2120 distance, which is here. And that center is at the Triangle 2, which is right up here, you can see. So this is a long distance away, and we found that uh, the Triangle of Peter being at the end point of the 45 degree um, triangle, or the 45 degree angle, uh, was somewhat ambiguous. Now, at one point, I thought that this may not be a landmark, but it might be. And I remember uh, watching an early episode of uh, the Curse of Oak Island, where Rick Lagina was down on the south side of the island, and he was looking around, and they found a rock that was large. It was very tall. It came up to about his chest, I think, and it was uh, flat on top, and it also had a hole in the middle of, in it. It had the hole in it, and he was digging out, but I, you know, it never, it never got followed up to where it actually was or what its purpose was, but it could have been the Triangle of Peter. So anyway, uh, the Triangle of Peter is on this circle from this drilled rock and this drilled rock, and it is equidistance from that. And the other thing is the, another aspect of this is this large boulder. And notice on the survey, he has two dots in the middle. So he, it, it's possible that he was surveying this, but he didn't make the connection. So there's no actual survey line or distance from it. But I find it interesting that it is noted on the survey, but there is nothing attached to it. But this probably will answer that question. Now, the large boulder is basically the local point that when you intercept this 45 degree angle and the true north angle coming or the true north line coming from the uh, stone triangle it creates a point and as you can see okay we're already sort of understanding what that circle on the landmark map was is that it is a circle that goes through this 522 entrance which was designated by this line here and the large boulder on the beach. So the this right here, the 522, and I'm trying to get that up. It's really interesting here. Is this, this right here is the distance from 
Lahomp to this 522 entrance. Now that's called out in La Formula, where it says 522 feet between you and Lahomp. And this is the 522. And what's interesting is, is 522 pied, which is pre-1668 French units of a foot, is equal to 560 feet, modern feet. And this right here, which is 600 pied, or 600 feet from here to the boulder, is equal to 560 pied. I just found it interesting that there was sort of a, a, a play on numbers there. But if we take this away and we put on this, we find that the distance between the boulder and the true north 45 center and the hump is equal. And it's very equal. They're just thinking. Let's see if right now I'm on the wrong one. Uh, I can show you the distances. So, I mean, they're very close. 600 feet from this point right here. see how accurate I have this from this point right here to this distance here 600 feet and then let's see if I can get this to work no okay hold on a second here measurement there is 600 feet. So this line is 600 feet. So it's interesting that the 1937 survey does actually show the distance or the, the location of the oak entrance. It's just that it was never able to be figured out because it had no correlation to Lahamp or to the boulder. Now, in my previous videos, I showed that these this little triangulation of these stones here actually has an angle that goes to Lahamp. So it's called out even in these stones. This other one goes out to the set point, which is part of the landing which uh, sets up the scale distance, and that's a different, whole different topic. So back to this is the 1937 survey gives the, dis gives the location of the oak entrance in that it is the center of this, these two points. So from here to here, from here to here is equal. And this dis this diameter is 40 feet, which is interesting. I thought it used to be 17 feet, but it's 40 feet and uh, the diameter. So the oak entrance would be in between these two, which would be 20 feet. So from uh, the 522 entrance to the oak entrance would be 20 feet. And that's to the center. That's right. That's to the center of the oak entrance. If the oak entrance was seven feet in diameter, then the distance from the side of the wall of the oak entrance to the 522 would be 17 feet. Yeah, that's that's how I figured that out. But um, so this is all very interesting. Um, it sort of wraps up the uh, 1937 survey. So through this 1937 survey, we're actually able to locate the Triangle of Peter. And it's the same distance from this drilled rock. 
um, were actually were able to locate the oak entrance, which uh, before the only uh, data we had for the entrance, uh, the oak entrance was this line, which is a uh, same as the 1347, 1444 feet from cone E and the uh, 45 degree angle was the only way. But now we have the 1937 survey confirming uh, a solution to the oak entrance. And more importantly, the thing that I like the best about this is that it, uh, it gives the reason for why this circle is here. The oak entrance is the middle of the circle. And this is just a you know, a pictorial representation of the concept. Just like the Triangle of Peter, the uh, concept of the Triangle of Peter is this line where these two are basically the same uh, distance. Uh, these legs are equal. And that's the concept of the Triangle of Peter. And the other thing about this too, and this is just a design feature, but it links the stone triangle to the, uh, basically the whole Rochefoucauld uh, start, which is this, the center of the stone triangle here is equally distant to the Frog Island landing. And cone on Round Island. Let me take this away here. The, the Frog Island landing point is very important when it came to the landing in determining where the 429 uh, extension point was. And it is where we develop the scale, this distance right here, which is equal to the North Anchor to Cone E. This distance is what gave us the scale in order to translate the uh, geometry from the Rochefoucauld map onto Oak Island. And this was this is not a search feature. This is a design feature because you know he started most likely the Stone Triangle may have been like the start point of this whole geometric uh, design and that we have he first locates the two off-island points that will set up the um, the east-west line and the uh, scale line which uh, terminates at the set point so that's what I have uh, it's interesting that the 1937 survey uh, entailed all this information that basically leads you to the, the, the location of the oak entrance in a very precise and local way, because this is all local. We don't have to uh, do any, go out all the way to Cone E and up to La Hamp or even to Cone A in order to locate the oak entrance. It is all done from the stone triangle, from the boulder, and from the uh, stones, that the drilled stones, and uh, Triangle of Peter. So it's all local within here. And that's how you find the oak entrance. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.